everyone. So I'm excited today to do this get ready with me type of video. I will be using a lot of new products that I recently picked up and I will be giving you my thoughts throughout the video and letting you guys know how these products work out. So it is a little bit longer because I'm kind of giving you on the spot first impressions and whether or not I think it's good. I'm really excited because I've got some new stuff that I'm so pumped and I'm always excited when I buy new makeup. Of course, who doesn't love makeup, right? So I recently went to Sephora and picked up a few new things and so that's what we're doing today. This is the look. I hope that you guys will enjoy it and if you want to see how to do it, then stay tuned. All right, so we are going to start off with foundation, and I recently started using a new foundation. It's the Clinique Even Better Makeup with SPF 15. Looks like that, and I really have been enjoying this foundation. I had gotten a sample at the beginning of January and really loved it, and I have just the tiniest bit left in that little um, jar that they gave me. So on the box it says that the makeup foundation is for dry combination to combination oily. I did pick up some new things. I went to Sephora a few days ago and got some stuff. So I am going to be doing a haul video but I do want to use some of it. And the first thing is a new beauty blender. I threw away my old one because I've had it for about a year and so I got myself the light pink one and this is so pretty. I love this soft baby pink color. So I'm going to use a, quite a bit of it on my cheek area because that's where I break out and um, I don't currently have any breakouts. I just have the marks left behind from all of these breakouts that I have that have basically in a way kind of come out of nowhere. I'm still trying to figure it out. I think I may know what it might be. <laughs> so um, keep you guys posted on that because I did switch my skincare. So. I think that's going to be the solution for this acne issue. Um, but I do like this foundation because it does cover really well. And I only use just a tiny bit through my T-zone. And yeah, it looks so cute. Don't I? <laughs> Pouncing this in. And it's been a, a little bit since I've used the beauty liner because I had mine. And it was sitting there for a few weeks and this was in January and I was like, you know what, I've had this for way too long. I think it's time to buy a new one just in case this could be potentially harboring some bacteria even though I do wash my beauty blenders with soap before I use them every single time. So I don't know. This one is so cute. And it's ruined. <laughs> Um, I find that with the Beauty Blender as opposed to the Posh sponges that I've been using, I have to go back with a little bit more product because I think the Posh one doesn't absorb and as much of the excess as the Beauty Blender. So uh, just a light layer. And I also recently did a review on the new Clinique DIY, the pigment drops that's supposed to be um, like creating your own tint and moisturizer. So if you want to see that, I will link it here so you guys can watch. There's a new release from Clinique. All right, so I have done my concealer, the usual concealer, the Smashbox Studio Skin under the eye, and I took some on the back of my hand to kind of minimize the scarring here. Set the under eye with the Besame in Vanilla Rose. This is my go-to. I absolutely adore this powder. It sets and it brightens the under eye so beautifully. And the Cinema Secrets Ultra Lucent for the rest of the face. I didn't show it because I did it in my last tutorial, and I show it pretty frequently so it gets redundant. Um, so moving on to the brows. I picked up the Benefit Cabral. I got it in shade number two, and here's why. First of all, I don't know if this is actually going to be the best shade. I swatched number two, three, and four. Three is what I use in the Gimme Brow, and that's a good match, and I can use it on its own or over other products. But the three in the Cabral, maybe because it's much more pigmented, seemed really kind of warm. And I'm not opposed to that, but then I thought... It's a little too warm and it may not work with really dark brows. Number four was really dark. Obviously five and six in the Cabral is just way too dark, like almost black. So I thought, let's just play it safe and go with it. And if it doesn't work, I can always exchange it and then go for the three. Um, but this is what the packaging looks like. It's really, really cute and different. It ha The cap of it is actually a brush. So it's got an angle brush and you just kind of take the cap off. 
push it back into here, and there you go. And you can just kind of work from it. I don't know if it's going to work. It's probably not the right shade. All right, I did the other brow off camera. I didn't film it, but number two seems to be a really good match. Um, I was surprised, but I kind of thought that it would be that way anyways because when I swatch them, they do appear darker. So if you're used to like tinted brow gels, these are going to be much more pigmented. So for this, I would suggest, ooh, the sun went behind the cloud, so it's going to get a little dark. Um, I would suggest going with a shade lighter um, because if I would have gone with a three, I think number three would have been much darker. So two is perfect. It blends in really well. It's kind of awkward though to hold it. So I ended up just using the little applicator. Um, whether you like to do that or not, it's up to you. For me, it's like I can use this on the go or use a just a simple angled liner brush to do my brows. It's like I usually do if I use powders and things, but this blended in really easily. It's nice and creamy, but it's not too creamy. And it's got a really nice consistency. So, so far, so good on this product. I'm really happy about that. And I'm glad that it actually ended up working well. I think it looks pretty good. Let me know. Leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like the bras? Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, to finish the face, I picked up the Kevin Aquan The Contour Duo. It's the on-the-go one, so it's smaller than the full size, so it looks like this really really small and you get the sculpting powder medium and the celestial powder in candle light now i've been wanting to try some more higher end brands and when i saw this this was in like a little checkout area as you you know the little impulse gets me every time and i thought you know this is not that bad i mean the sizes are pretty good especially for someone like me that doesn't do contouring a whole heck of a lot so there it is that's what they look like, um, the sizes and the tone of it. It's not super duper like cool tone that looks kind of crazy and gray. And it's not that warm either. So it's kind of like a perfect little balance of both. So extremely pigmented. Holy freaking cow. That was like I'm just doing like one quick swipe and those are the colors. So there you go. That's the highlight up top. And then here is the powder. As you can see it's very, very pigmented. Okay, so that blended out really nicely, and uh, I think that it does give me that sort of slim down. I don't know if the um, camera is going to pick it up. Um, maybe you can see how this side just seems a little bit slimmer than this side, and it's virtually indetectable. Like, it blended out really nicely, and it seems really, really pretty, and I do think that this color works well for my skin. I thought I was kind of like, eh, it's a medium shade. I'm not quite medium, but... Um, it works. I think it does work and it's, it's really nice. I think it blends easily. I've had some control products that are not good. And only a little bit is what's needed for this. I mean, like it's so pigmented that you don't need a whole lot. I'm going to take some. Just a little bit around the forehead, not a whole lot, because I do want to do a little bit of bronzer as well. And this brush from Sigma is so scratchy, oh my gosh. It is the older ones though, so um, I don't know if the newer, I haven't purchased from them in a while, so I don't know if they're, they've are they improved or not. And just kind of go around that, and just kind of soften that. Yeah, I, I do like this product. I think it's really, really nice. I'm not a nose contour. I don't really I don't do the whole nose thing, but if I do, I just do a little bit of it and then cleaning off the brush and just kind of soften this a little bit. I don't know, just I can see a difference. I don't know if you guys can kind of tell, but it's kind of like so incredibly soft and it's like my skin gets so red lately. I don't know what it is. Like, 
just touching it irritates it. Um, but you can see that you can't really tell any product is there. You know what I mean? I do like that. Then with a Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer Brush, I'm going to highlight using the, um, the little highlight powder that's in. This is in the candlelight color. Let's go down the nose a little bit. Cupid's bow. That's pretty. It's a very soft and very delicate and kind of feminine glow. It's not like bam in your face. It's not like you have like these beaming lights flashing on your cheekbones and on your face for people to kind of notice. It's a very soft glow. It's almost as if your skin has that pretty glow, just healthy glow, which is really pretty and very flattering in my opinion. It's under the brow bone. And this is so light, I'm just gonna kind of go a little bit in the center of my forehead. All right, so for a bronzer, I used the Chocolate Soleil. I had another one of these little minis that I've been saving for a long time. I decided to throw the old one that I had and bust out this new one. I love this bronzer. I had the same exact one, like just like this, for a couple of years. Like this thing never ends. So I love that bronzer. And then I used the True Flush Blush. <laughs> I always get tongue twisted there. The True Flush Blush from Smashbox. It came in like a limited edition packaging and that's what I have on my cheeks. The Viseart uh, palettes, these are the Theory palettes and I saw that Sephora had them and of course it was the last one so I kind of felt like <laughs> the universe was trying to tell me something so I picked this up and the one that I have is in Minx and this is what the colors look like. Isn't that gorgeous? Like Yes. <laughs> um, so I kind of want to keep everything pretty simple today. I don't really want to do anything crazy, but those colors are just, they're beautiful. They're just beautiful. And yeah, when I swatched them in the tester at the store, I was just blown away and I thought I need to have these in my life. <laughs> All right. So I've zoomed you in a little bit. I'm going to take the Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm going to start with the light cream color here, this top shade. And this is going to go, you guessed it, all over the lid. Set the concealer. I do use translucent powder, but this is kind of like an insurance on that to make sure it doesn't crease because I do have oily lids. But I don't have any issues with eyeshadow fading or creasing really anymore. Next, I'm going to deepen up the crease just a little bit. And I'm gonna take this shade here, which is a really pretty brown. And it is, so, oh my God, so pretty. It's got some warmth to it, which you guys know I like. Taking just a little bit of that. And I'm gonna start building up this crease area here. And I'm just kind of blending this color into my natural crease area. And as you can see, I'm looking down into a mirror to kind of expose the crease area so that I can get the color exactly where I want it, which is the natural crease for me. And I'm just kind of looking down just to kind of get right where I want this color to be placed. And then I'm gonna do this little windshield wiper motion here to kind of blend it. And then once I have that blended with whatever's left on the brush, I'm gonna kind of go up into like the upper crease area, kind of slightly onto the brow bone like that bone that's right there, not all the way up here. And just kind of help fade those edges out so it's nice and blended and really soft, like so. Then I like to take a fluffy crease brush. This is the Morphe E27 from their previous release of the Elite. They have changed the way they look a little bit. And I go around the edges, as you guys know, I do this in every tutorial just because I like to have everything really soft and very blended. These eyeshadows so far have blended themselves pretty magnificently. And I'm so thrilled with these. And of course, I kind of expected a lot from this brand. I'm going to pick up the Mikasa Beauty E310 brush, which is just a pencil brush. And I'm going back into that warm brown color. The um, 
E25 with nothing on it, I'm going to kind of go, try not to poke yourself in the eye, in the eye but I'm going to kind of soften this just a touch, and you can see, literally, it doesn't take that much work. I'm taking that light to kind of champagne color, and applying this to the lid. Um, hello. Oh, I love this. It's so pretty. Yes, I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush to apply it, and then with the very tip of the brush, I'm kind of making sure it wedges into the crease area so there's not a separation between the shimmer and the matte. And I'm using it dry. I haven't dampened my brush with any product, so you guys can see how intense these pigments, um, how intense the pigmentation is. I almost said piggy. It's just my kind of colors. Look at that. And it's just so simple and easy. It's like with no time at all, you can just slap these on your eye and be done and not have to feel like you have to blend or spend 10,000 hours working on blending eyeshadows that just don't want to work with you. Oh, yes. Okay. For the inner corner, really quickly, I'm going to uh, take another pencil brush. And use that same shadow and I'm going to add that to the inner corner to highlight and just kind of brighten everything up and I'm using a Mac 219 I rubbed off a little bit I think it's a 219 their pencil brush from Mac I think that's the number oh this is pretty oh I love this yes I'm gonna take just a tiny bit under the brow just a little bit color it's like a really rich you just oh, stop you see that look how pretty that is let me just kind of show you on the back of my hand how rich that is and that's from my finger straight to the back of my hand you can see how pigmented these are so I'm going to use that with a Morphe M160 the 1 16th of an inch it's just their angled liner brush And I'm kind of just stamping this right at the root of the lashes just to create a bit of thickness there. Keeping everything pretty simple and easy today. I don't want to do anything super crazy. Okay, so that just gave me a little bit of definition around the lashes. And I might take, you know what, let's just take a little bit of that under the lower lashes as well just to add a little something there. All right, so these are the eyes completed with mascara. I absolutely adore this palette. This is exactly how I would use it on a day-to-day -day basis. You guys know I like my makeup to be very natural. This is exactly what I would wear. If you were to run into me somewhere in public, you would see the same makeup that I do my videos on me in person because it's just showing you guys what I really like and how I really would use these products and just staying true to who I am. So I hope you guys really like this look. It's so incredibly pretty. I finished it with the mascara that I absolutely love. It's the Tarte Tardis Lash Paint Mascara. This is definitely perfection in every way. And then I used, what did I use? The lower lashes? Where are you? The Bobbi Brown. This is the Smoky Eye Mascara that I got um, with a gift with purchase. Was it a gift? No, it was just a free sample from Nordstrom. So, for the lips, I have a new lip gloss, the Lancome Lay Metallique. Metallic Effect Lip Lacquer. So these are new, and the display at Sephora was very picked over, but I chose the one color that I thought I could get the most use out of, and it's the shade called Magnetic Mauve Number 04. There you go. I love Bite Beauty. They make some of the best lipsticks that I have tried in a very long time, and I, whoa. Oh, okay, this is like a weapon. Look at that. Look how sharp that is. Holy smokes. I hope I got the white, the right shade. I wanted to get one that looked really natural. Um, to I wanted it to be like my Milani one in the all natural, which I adore it. But this is actually just a little bit more kind of mauvey, kind of slightly purpley undertone than I what I wanted. So yeah. It's not the color I wanted for today, but it's a really pretty shade though. So I'm gonna go in with the gloss. Oh, yes. 
It actually goes pretty perfect, this gloss, with that lip liner. I probably should have gone with something a little bit more nude. I think what's throwing me off is this lip liner, although it's really pretty, and I would definitely use it again. Probably not the right color for this look. I should have just used my Milani one that's more of like my lip color. It's like the perfect match for my lip color. But I will say that these have a really pretty metallic finish. This one looks very soft and very natural. So it's not going to be like bam in your face metallic, but it just kind of gives you that look of a fuller lip and a glossy lip too. Very pouty, very plump, <laughs> which is what I like instead of using like something that's so metallic. But so far so good. All right, so that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoy this. I know this was a little bit more of a lengthy video, but I kind of wanted to try out all these new things because I could not wait, especially for the eyeshadows, the color theory, this little guy right here. I'm just loving those colors, loving the way it applied, and it's just a really soft, easy eye to do, and that's just what I like. I like simple things. I like to be, to look very natural, but also to look like, I have a little bit of something going on and I just, I don't know, I just love those eyeshadows because they blend it out so easily and I would recommend them. I think that the formula of the shimmers are beautiful. One of the best formulas that I've tried personally, um, which is really nice because I didn't know what to expect with those shimmers. I, you know, you can swatch something on your hand and it looks really pretty but then it's a different story when you go to apply it and actually work with the other colors or mix it with other brands, it may not work very well, or blend that great. So I'm glad that that didn't disappoint me. Now, everything else is pretty good. I love the product uh, for the brows, the Cabral from Benefit. I'm really happy with shade number two. I think it works perfectly. It's the right tone for my hair without making my brows look really, really dark, because that doesn't look that great against my very fair skin. So I'm really loving that. I love the contour from Kevin Aquan. I'm just really happy with that. So. I'm like really pumped because I've gotten some really good makeup products lately that I have loved so much and so I will list everything down below. Even the products that I'm wearing that I didn't show like concealer and my brow gel, all that stuff, I will list it below for you. So if you're interested in trying anything that I really love, it'll be down in the description box so you can do a screenshot if you're interested. And I appreciate you so, so, so much for being here, watching this video, for taking the time out of your day to spend it with me. I love you very, very much. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being you. And I will talk to you very soon.